For this trip report, I'm going against my own rule by flying basic economy, which I don't like because of the restrictions. Today I hope to answer the question, is it worth it to purchase Saver Class? One of the first things you'll notice when you enter Terminal 6 is that the check-in area now has a bunch of bag tag kiosks. You can check in online and get your boarding pass on the Alaska Airlines app or download it into a Google wallet like I did. There is a help desk if you have questions. After getting your bag tag, you will place it on your luggage and then you'll get into line to drop it off. A note about the saver fare. You were able to bring on one carry-on and one personal item. In my case, because I used my Alaska Airlines Visa card previously to pay for the flight, this allowed me to check one bag for free. If I didn't have the Alaska Airlines Visa, it would have cost me $35. And I'll explain some of the other perks I have available later on. Okay, there's Alaska Airlines 702 heading out to Las Vegas. It is going to depart at gate 60, and so far, it's on time. As you already know, the route from SoCal to Vegas is approximately 40 minutes, which is a slightly longer flight out of LAX just due to the fact that we take off over the ocean and make our turn towards Vegas. With no lounge access and a couple hours to kill, I'll do some plane spotting in the corridor connecting gates 6 and 7. It's nice to see this Alaska Airlines special livery in front of me. It's not the plane taking me to Vegas. However, this Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-800, which is registered November 537 Alpha Sierra, in the Disneyland Pixar Pier livery is heading up to Portland. This corridor is one of several connecting Tom Bradley to Terminal 8. This is one of the few above ground so you can get in some decent plane spotting and walking if you have a lot of time. With the Disney Pixar Pier plane having departed, our plane is now here at gate 60 after arriving from Seattle. This is a 23 year old Boeing 737-900ER registered November 306 Alpha Sierra. It was delivered to Alaska Airlines May 29, 2001. It has 16 first class seats, 24 premium economy seats, and 138 economy seats. This was one of the planes stored during the COVID pandemic. It's just a couple of minutes to walk over from the corridor to gate 60. It's the first gate past TSA security and is right next to a Starbucks. Any car seat strollers or any walkers that need to be gate checked with the orange tag, please come see me at the podium to get those tagged. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, for flight 702 with services to Las Vegas, we are going out as a completely full flight today, which requires us to look for about 15 volunteers who would like to come up to the podium to gate check their roller bag. This service is free of charge. I'll tag it with the white tag and you'll meet it in the baggage claim area at your final destination. If you are groups E and F, you decide to come up now, you will be able to board earlier with group C. If we do not meet our target of at least 16 more volunteers by the time we get to the end of boarding group E and F, please keep in mind that you guys will be the ones to check your bags. Unfortunately, just to accommodate some space on this aircraft, please come see us with your seat number. Thank you. Several things to keep in mind. You can gate check your bag for free if the gate agent says they need volunteers. And instead of being in the last boarding groups, you can board in group 3, which if you want to settle in before the flight is a nice little perk even for those in the safer class. So as you can see it's a very calm atmosphere flying out on a Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. We're going to begin our pre-boarding process in about two minutes. Can I have everyone who needs extra time or assistance line up right here in the boarding area? We'll begin boarding in two minutes. Also, if you're a family traveling with little ones under the age of two, you guys are welcome to just line up for pre-boarding. And if you are active or retired duty military member, you guys can come up and line up for pre-boarding. We will start pre-boarding in about two minutes. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and welcome our first class in Group A. Group A. All right, it's time to line up. Group C will be called momentarily. Purchase the saver fare, Alaska gives you a reminder of the restrictions. Reminder seats are assigned to check-in. 
Here again are the fees if you don't have an Alaska branded credit card. It's an additional $35. And for today's flight, I'll be seated in 23B, a middle seat. Welcome on board Alaska Airlines 702 out to Las Vegas. The economy cabin is configured in a 3-3 configuration. All the seats are leather, although if you look at them, they do look a bit worn. And my seat at 23B is coming up, right there. And this was assigned to me at check-in. I didn't pay to choose a seat. I could have paid for a premium class seat or paid to upgrade to first. But it's not worth it for a 40-minute flight. I'm flying solo, but if you're traveling with someone else also on Saver, there's a chance you might not be seated together. In coach, the seats have between 16.5 to 17.3 inches of width, and there are also 31 to 32 inches of pitch. There you see a box under the seat in front of you that takes a little bit of space away for your bag to fit under, and there is the power and USB plug. Every seat will have its own power. It looks like the holder for your device is not there. And we'll open up the tray. So you can see there, it's a standard tray table. For today's flight, however, no food will be sold or no snacks given out. And there you see our adjustable headrests. And there you see how narrow the seat is. I had to tuck in my arm and it still looks like part of my arm is crossing over into the seat next to me. Luckily, the person at the window and aisle have a little more room. And as you can see, you should roll up something to give yourself some lower back support. And that's what the seat looks like from the side profile. Hey, on our flight to Las Vegas. Thank you for being mindful of others while finding your seat. Place smaller bags completely under the seat in front of you and stow your larger bags over here. On behalf of Alaska Airlines and our One World Airlines partners, welcome aboard. Please settle in and enjoy the flight. And there's the window and the view I'll have for the 45 minute flight. The scenery is nothing different compared to other flights between SoCal and Vegas. So feel free to check out some of those other videos here. And of course there is the overhead light and the overhead air vents which are always nice. And as you can see, just like on one of my other previous Alaska Airlines flights, there's a little bit of wear and tear. Uh, you can see some of the paint that's uh, been peeling off and chipping. And you can see a little bit of a crack there on that armrest. And I expect a fairly smooth ride. There'll be a little bit of uh, turbulence over the mountain into Vegas, which is typical there. So please do heat the seatbelt side, and of course we'll try to find the smoothest ride we can for you. The weather there, clear sky is currently about 75 degrees. I expect we'll be on time for a few minutes ahead of schedule. And if there's anything we can do to make your life more enjoyable, let us know. Good afternoon. take a quick peek at the food and beverage options. Alaska being a full-service airline will have more choices for snacks and food compared to Southwest, which is what I normally fly between here and Vegas. There are the snack boxes, which are all about $8, which isn't a bad price. But again, I haven't gotten one of those snack packs since 2007. The beer, wine, and spirits range in price from $8.50 to $9.50, or you can get a cocktail for $12.50. And you can see they also have hot beverages like Stumptown Coffee. And using the Alaska Airlines credit card allowed me to check one bag for free, even in Saver class, and avoid the $35 fee. If you fly Alaska regularly, I think that's a good deal. And here is the safety information card with all of the instructions there. Definitely take a look at that. There we go, we're all seated. You know I hate being in the middle seat. And as a solo traveler, if you're not a social person or seated next to one, it might feel a bit claustrophobic. And here we are pushing back from gate 60. The guy seated at the window went back and forth between putting his head on the seat in front of him and laying back. Here he decided to lay back in his seat, which gave me a slightly better view of the window. All right, we're about to take off. Enjoy the sights and sounds as we head out towards the Pacific Ocean and then out to Vegas.
heading out of LAX, planes will usually take off towards the west, towards the Pacific Ocean, and then for the flights heading east, they'll make a wide turn, and for the rest of the flight, we'll follow the normal path towards the northeast, towards Vegas. This has a few minutes to the flight compared to flying out of Long Beach, which makes a tighter turn towards the south before turning northeast. For today's flight, no snack mixes will be served, and we'll have a choice of either water or apple juice. That's where Southwest wins if they are able to serve snacks and beverages on the flights. I went with this water which was served in the milk carton and it has a slight taste to it but I think that was due to the packaging. We'll take a quick peek at the entertainment on board. You'll log into alaskawifi.com and there you can see what's available if you wish to purchase any of the streaming or internet plans. And then there you see the moving map and our journey out to Las Vegas. And so then you get to see a sample of the streaming TV and movies that are available for you. There's no live TV, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, that's a win for Southwest in my opinion. Again, you don't have to worry about streaming the entertainment and running out of power on your device because every seat has a plug. Our flights out of Vegas sometimes encounter turbulence, so we're going to go ahead and prepare the cabin for landing now. If you could please bring your seat back and tray table up, larger items, bags, laptops, and tablets with keyboards must be stowed under the seat in front of you or overhead. If you are seated in an exit row, open window shades and unplug your devices. Ensure your seatbelt is fastened and remain seated for the rest of the flight. The lavatories will remain closed until we arrive at the gate. We will be completing our final safety checks now and collecting all remaining service items. Thank you so much. Let's wrap up today's trip report in Saver Class on Alaska Airlines 702. The question at the beginning was, is it worth it to fly Saver Class? It depends on what you value. If you value the lowest price and don't mind being assigned a seat at check-in, Saver Fare is a good fare. With this fare, Alaska does allow you to have a carry-on and a personal item but note you board at the end of the boarding, so there's a chance your carry-on won't fit. One way to get around that is to gate check it, and then you get to board in Group C. For mileage plus, you accrue 30% of the miles flown, so I got 71 miles for this flight. Again, if you have no problem with the restrictions and you pack lightly, Saver Class is a good deal. On board, I found the service pleasant, the food and beverages are limited, and the interior is showing its age with the worn looking seats and the wear and tear on the panels and armrest. It's nice to have power available at all the seats though. The entertainment could be better with live television, but that's just my personal preference. I'd still prefer Southwest from Long Beach, but with this experience of $45 paid by previous credit and then being dropped off by a family member who works nearby LAX, this flight ended up being a pretty good deal in my opinion. And then we also get into Vegas a few minutes early, which is always good. So all that to say, enjoy our turbulent landing into Harry Reid International Airport in Las Vegas.
A special thank you to our mileage fund members and the leads. It was great to see you again. Thanks for joining me on Alaska Airlines 702 from LAX to Las Vegas. Please leave a like and a comment below and subscribe to see more. See you next time. Bye.